Hey, what's up, YouTube? Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing channel. Today is October 10th, 2017, my outing number 128th of this year. And today is just so happens to be the first day of fall trout season here in good old Philadelphia County. I am currently at a little uh, residential area right now. I didn't want to film my intro at the creek because I know there's going to be a lot of people there. You know, I mean, it is the first day, right? But anyways, topic of this video, right? What is the best bait to actually use for the first day of trout stockings, okay, around the country. This is what we gotta talk about for a few minutes before I head to the Penny Pack Creek, okay? A lot of people come here on the channel and they ask me this question, you know? Oh, Leo, they just stocked my local creek with trout, right? What should I use? Well, let me tell you something, my friend. Here is the answer, okay? This is what you should use, okay? Berkeley power bait this is hands down in my personal opinion you know the best bait for just a stocked trout okay now there is something that you guys need to understand when i say just a stocked right i don't want you guys to think like you gotta understand that when i say just a stocked i mean that people came to the creek and they just put the fish in like today and you were fishing for them today you know this is what i mean by just stocked right a lot of people for example i'll give you guys an example here in philadelphia county we have two stockings a year right the spring and fall during the spring time they i mean they're two very different beasts okay during the spring time they close the creek down for a whole month nobody can fish it so that they can stock the fish in the creek for for like one month in advance so that those fish can actually get used to the penny pack creek right then comes the trout opening day the first day that people can fish the trout and those trout are already adapted a man they are starving right so it is really easy to catch fish fall stocking season in philadelphia is a whole different story okay first and foremost the season was never closed so i mean it's been opening people be, being open people have been fishing there it just so happens that today the 10th they are going to put trout there in the creek so i am fishing today the 10th that means that i'm going to be fishing for fish that have been the, in the creek for less than 12 hours you know and that's why i recommend berkeley power bait okay uh one more thing i need to touch base before i talk about the bait itself we are talking about stocked trout in this video okay that means we are not talking about wild trout trout that have been born in the wild and grew up in the wild for example the brown trout right we have populations of wild brown trout in pennsylvania and stocked as well but the wild ones really look different okay and same thing i'm not talking about native trout okay this is stock trout are invasive species that are put in these creeks for a catch and take fishery right i purchased my pa uh, fishing license hopefully you purchase the license for your state then you go to your local watersheds with your trout stamp and you are able to take this fish home to eat the money that you do you use to purchase your trout stamp goes towards the trout hatcheries that raise these fish that are put in the creek right but <laughs> all right so now that we all understand that we're talking about stocked fish one final note on the power bait why is it so good and why it works today for example they're stocking the penny pack with trout like i mentioned before and these trout, you gotta realize, they have, they've been living in the hatcheries their entire lives, right? And they are probably fed these things called hatchery pellets, you know? Fish pellets, you know, in the hatcheries. This is what they ate for their entire lives. Suddenly, uh, they get inside little buckets, I, 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 you know, from the truck, and they get stocked in the creek. They really don't know what to eat, right? They're introduced to a whole new environment not to mention that the fish that are going to be stocked today in the creek are probably fish that have been starving for a little while you know people tend to starve them for a few weeks and then put them in the creeks so that when anglers go there to catch them they're easily catchable you know what i'm saying 
So in this trout going to the creek, they don't know what to eat. The only thing that they have known their entire lives has been the hatchery pellet, the fish pellet. That's why the trout, uh, the, the power bait, Berkeley power bait works, okay? The per Berkeley power bait is actually this dough bait that adjusts, I don't know if it smells, looks, or feels, or all of them together. But when the trout sees it, it just thinks, you know, that it is the pellets that they have been eating for their entire lives. So when you actually put this on the hook, it actually really works. So it doesn't matter where you are around the country, just keep in mind, right? If they have just stocked your local watersheds with trout from hatcheries, Berkeley, Berkeley Power Bait is going to work, okay? It is, most people have a different logic, you know, they believe if it is like that, why don't you recommend night crawlers, right? Or mealworms or wax worms, right? They never eat in any of those in their entire lives, you know? Meanwhile, if you punch some of these in front of their faces, they have seen something that is similar to this. They are accustomed to this bait. Anyways, we are six and a half minutes in this video. I hope you guys kind of understood the little introduction here to the fall fishing in Philadelphia County and you can apply this to your local watersheds but what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna set up my rod we're gonna go to the creek show you guys how i'm gonna rig it how i'm gonna put this on the hook and now of course we gotta get the fishing started i'm very very sorry if there has been a little problem with my speech pattern you know but as you guys know i am post surgery from my wisdom teeth so i am still having difficulties and sweating profusely from the surgery but i'm still having difficulties speaking okay all right, let's get down to the creek and hopefully we're gonna catch our limit of fish today, which is three trout per day. Let's go. Okay, so I just got here to the creek. Haven't really set up my stuff yet. Just taking a look, you know? It is 3.30 p.m. right now. And I know that they scheduled the stocking for 12.30 p.m. But you know, sometimes they run late. It takes two, three hours for them to run the truck and stock the whole creek, right? So the first thing that we gotta do is we gotta find out if they already stocked this portion of the creek or not. And to do that, of course, we gotta look around the creek, right? And we're gonna ask other people if they actually saw them or they caught some fish already, right? Ah, oh, man, this dude sucks. Hey, how's it going, man? All right. Did they stock it already? Yeah, they just left. I told them guys, they just left. Oh, wow, all right. So, gotcha. It's take a little bit, because they just put them in there. Gotcha, gotcha, all right. Thank you, man, appreciate it. So, quick update. I set up bays in one of my traditional fishing spots and i already see some trout swimming around the area i don't really understand why there's nobody fishing on this side everyone's on the other side but that is actually a good thing for me i saw two trout swimming right in front of me over here kind of scouting the creek you know so that means that they have been in this creek in left for less than like two hours you know i think they just got dumped in here so I'm gonna keep my power bait down there and we should be getting bites really soon. Oh, there's a bite, there's a bite. We're getting a bite, folks. We're getting a bite, we're getting a bite. Didn't even take 25 minutes and we are getting a bite. Just gonna wait until it swallows it. We're using power bait, you know? Is it still on? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's taking it, it's taking it. Man, come on, swallow it. Just get it, get it. Dude, I don't feel it. I don't feel it. I think it let go. Yeah, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. But some, we finally got a bite. Didn't even take 15 minutes, that's great. Very, very cool. Not, not even 15 minutes, one of the trout is feeding already. I'm kind of whispering right now, cause you know, I don't want the people on that side to hear it and come to this side. But yeah, man, that was legit a trout bite. That was no sunfish. It was 100% trout, you know? So it's just a waiting game now. 
Let's hope we'll catch some soon. Oh, there's something messing with the bait. Something small. Oh, dude. Oh, dude, come on, take it. Oh, dude, that fish is still messing around with the bait. Line just went super slack. Super slack. My line just went very slack. I think the fish is on. I'm not sure. No, it's still not on. I'll still give you time. Let go again. Oh, dude, I think it may be on. Come on. I gave it a lot of time to chew on the stuff. Fish on. Fish on. First one of the day. Finally. Dude, it took forever for this fish to eat this. Come here. Oh, yeah, son. Finally. First fish of the day. Oh, yeah. So finicky. So finicky, guys. We finally got the first rainbow trout of the day, eh? So finicky, though. After losing so many fish and so many bites, I really, really think we started to get this bite dialed in, you know? That last fish took 30 seconds to inhale the power bait. <laughs> they are very, very finicky or very lethargic. I don't know whatever the reason is, you know? But the thing is, it's getting dark right now. Check this out, it's about 6.30 p.m. And filming when it's dark is definitely no fun. Getting out of here when it's dark is no fun. So I'm gonna fish for a little bit more, but if I don't catch anything else, I think I'm gonna link the footage of tomorrow on this video. Day to figure out this fish. Not that bad, not that bad. There we go, there we go. Get it, boy. Get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. That was an instant hit. Instant hit. Fish on. First fish of the day. Instant hit. Very nice, very nice. The bite seems to be much, much better than yesterday, which is good. Check this out, huh? We got a beauty here. Look at this. Seems that the fish are adapting much, much better to the creek now. Look at that, huh? Second day, that's a beautiful Raymond trout right there. Awesome. Good way to start the day. Oh, 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 there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. There's one, there's one. There's one. Did he let go? I think he let go. Ooh, line went very slack. Oh no, it's on, it's on, it's on, it's on. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Instant pitch, boy. Come here. You find your new home over here, brother. Your new home dinner. Oh yeah, look at that. Yes, sir. Wow, look at the collars on this guy, huh? Check this out, folks. Beautiful collars on this fish, huh? Yeah, son. Oh, oh, there we go. We got a bite, folks. We got a bite. We got a bite. Oh, damn, son. This one's on. This one's on. Oh, my God, dude. This one took strong. Oh, yeah. That's the last one of the day, if I can land it. Oh, yeah. Look at that small fella. Come here. He's trashing, man. He's trashing. Oh, yeah. Check this out, huh? There we go. That's it. This is our limit for the day. Last one. Oh, gee. Look at this, dude. What the heck, man? Yo, couldn't you have waited a little bit? Yeah, man. Look at this, man. Milch everywhere. This is one mean fish, man. He was probably thinking, look, if this dude is going to take me home to eat, May as well put all my stuff on him, you know? Ouch. So yeah, this is pretty much it, guys. Second day of trout fishing here at the Pennypack Creek in Philadelphia County. Bite hasn't been very hot, as you guys saw. The fish are very lethargic, hard to catch. And that's why in this video, if you guys noticed, we really used the 
going to the fish approach, you know? I mean, in my head, what is happening is that this trout down there, they are just not moving a lot, you know? They're staying at a certain place and moving very little. So instead of throwing our power bait and just waiting for the fish to get to it, right? The approach that I use in this video is I cast it out there, I give it three minutes per cast, I reel it in every few seconds, you know? So I, I'm actually fishing different layers of the creek, right? And, you know, we see if the fish bites or not. We are really trying to punch the power bait right in front of those fish. And you, if you guys are familiar with, you know, uh, stock trout, when you punch the power bait in front of those fish, what they do, they see the power bait, right? And they start doing the darting motion, you know? They go towards it, then they flip. Go towards it, then they flip. When they finally see that it is edible, it is not a trap, they finally attack it, and your line goes slack. When your line goes slack, don't set the hook. You know, you gotta wait, you gotta be patient, right? We're fishing with power bait, we are taking this trout home to eat, so may as well wait until then they swallow the hook. So give it a little bit of time, and once your line starts getting straight and you see that the fish is swimming with it, that's when you set the hook and then you take the fish, right? First day here took us three hours to catch a measly fish. Today, second day, took us one hour to catch three fish, you know? So I got my limit now, time to go home. If you guys want to see some trout cooking here on the channel, I'm gonna leave a poll above, okay? Let me know, vote. If I got a lot of positives, you know, I may bring something like that on the channel, okay? But this is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a lot in this video, okay? Get the power bait, man. Get the yellow collar because it works really good for trout that have just been stocked, okay? Later, when they get used to the creek, right? You can go with the trout magnet and inline spinners. But first and second day, like I told you guys, you know, fall stocking, at least here in Philadelphia County, is a very different beast than the spring stocking because they don't have that extra month to adapt to the creek. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, this is it for today, all right? I hope you guys enjoyed it. Tie lines, I'll see you guys next time. Oh, fish on. Oh, yeah. Down, girl. That's a nice one. Bottom of the lip, check this out. Bottom of the lip, on the Johnson. If it gets away, it gets away. If not, we'll take it.